Hello everyone, my name is Amber and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we're going to have a look at the Phantom and all its special abilities and how to best identify this ghost type. We'll start with the biggest and most obvious giveaway for the Phantom. They will immediately disappear after a photo has been taken of them. This counts for during ghost events, during hunts, and while the ghost is trapped inside the summoning circle or walking towards the music box. So, if you get a ghost event, try to take a photo of the ghost and it instantly disappears, you know you either have a phantom or the mimic. Additionally, when you look at the photo you took in the journal, the photo will still be labeled as ghost, but the ghost will clearly not be in the photo and there will be no static visible, unlike all other ghost photos. If it is not labeled as ghost, you run the risk of just having bad luck that the ghost disappeared just before you took the photo, and it is not actually a phantom. Taking a photo of the ghost will not end the ghost event, so you will sometimes be able to hear the ghost event continuing even after the photo was taken. Obviously, taking a photo during a hunt will not end it either, it will just make the ghost invisible for longer and therefore even more dangerous. There are some guides I have found that say the phantom will not disappear if you take a photo of them during a hunt, but I believe this to be outdated. I attempted it here, clearly took a photo of the ghost while it was visible, and it immediately vanished. I worried that the ghost might have just blinked out of view before I snapped the photo, and I had already taken a ghost photo earlier, and so this one didn't get labeled as a ghost photo, but then I noticed the lack of glitching on the image. I tested this with other ghosts, and even when they were invisible during the hunts and I took a picture, the glitching would still be visible on the photo. Thus, I believe my photo of the phantom during the hunt was successful, and you can take photos of them during hunts to see their disappearing ability, but doing so may cost you your life. The phantom will also blink more slowly than all other ghosts during hunts. Other ghost types will blink for less than one second, whereas the phantom will only blink every one to two seconds. This means that they are invisible longer than other ghosts during hunts, and they can cover a lot of ground in that time if they are in direct line of sight of you. This can make it hard to know how close the ghost actually is to you, making it harder to judge when to smudge if you are trying to repel it during a hunt. The best rule of thumb is always to smudge earlier than you think you need to with a phantom, since the smudge stick has a fairly large 6 meter range. The Phantom also has a larger drain on sanity than most other ghost types. Instead of draining your sanity by 0.2% a second, the Phantom will drain it by 0.4% a second whenever you are looking at the ghost, both during events and hunts. This will cause it to drain your sanity twice as fast, making it extremely dangerous if you get a Phantom that spams you with ghost events, especially on Nightmare Mode. Lastly, the Phantom has another rare hidden ability where it can wander to a random player's location, even at very great distances. This is similar to the Wraith's teleporting ability, but the major difference is that the Phantom actually has to walk to your location. This means you may see activity between a location you are just at and the ghost room, causing you to believe the ghost has moved. Or, if you haven't found the ghost room yet, it can lead you astray as to where the ghost room actually is. So if you seem to get ghost activity wherever you seem to go on the map, this could be an indicator you have a phantom following you around. A common misconception is that you are more likely to have a phantom if you have a Ouija board spawn, as this is flavor text that was included in the journal. This is not true, as you will have an equal chance of spawning any ghost type regardless of the cursed item on the map. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for future content. And be sure to check out my channel for other Phasmophobia guide videos if you haven't done so already. Happy hunting out there!